What we're working on is engineering design for wildlife passages within our city. Wildlife passages in the city are maybe a little bit different than people conceive in the wilderness. We have smaller animals, birds, small mammals, but we also get bigger animals all the way up to moose and deer. So we look at specific requirements of the animals in that area and we design passages accordingly. What we realize is that the roads are really fragmenting those potential movements. It's quite important to human safety and animal safety to separate the movements. Nobody wants to get in an accident with an animal, whether it's a large one or a small one. It can cause a lot of property damage and a lot of emotional um, trauma to people that have to experience this. Historically, we did deal with this issue, but it took a lot of time and it took uh, a lot of work by a lot of people to try and figure out a solution on a case-by-case -case basis. What we've worked on is to find a methodology that everybody can agree to that we can get to that solution quite quickly that satisfies the needs of our transportation engineers and of our wildlife ecologists. We have now found a way in Edmonton to do good ecological planning. We are going to do some more monitoring and we want to get involved with researchers to really just get some more concrete scientific evidence so that we can replicate it or share this to others that might be interested as well.